Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today's Tuesday and today I want to address a comment that someone left on yesterday's video on YouTube and the comment was, why is it so hard to lose weight? And when I read this comment, <laughs> my heart just dropped because I I know the frustration that so many people go through that are trying to lose weight and they've been trying either for a short period of time or they've been trying for years and decades and they just either don't get any results or the results don't last and next thing you know it they you know they go up and down with their weight and and they're kind of back and forth from losing weight to going back to their original body weight and or even gaining weight more even more weight back so i i know the frustration and and i can just feel it in the words yesterday <laughs> that i kind of want to talk about this today and kind of just re-motivate you guys and just get you pumped up and and excited about losing weight because it doesn't have to be a terrible painful experience it, it's really it's on your own attitude about it you know and and that's the number one thing is that you have to really you have to look at this as a good thing and that this is something that you can do and that you will achieve the results that you want and it's about reinforcing that to yourself every single day along with that it's it's also about what you're 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 doing what you're eating and and your activity every day things like that and even your stress levels and your emotional well-being that everything is interconnected and that does have a huge impact on how easily it is for people to lose weight so the main thing is is that i find there's two things that that are most important if someone really wants to be successful and achieve their their goal weight okay and the two things are is consistency and being committed you know, being 100% committed. It, it's not about being committed, you know, four days out of the week. It's being 100% committed. If you really want to see the results and, and you really want to get there, you got to just throw yourself into your weight loss plan and your, your dietary changes. You have to make the changes because pretty much whatever you've been eating up until this time has not been helping you. It is, whether it's been making you just get fatter and fatter or it's just keeping you at the same weight. You have to look at what what are you doing? What are you eating every day? What What is your exercise? Are you exercising every day or a few times a week or not at all? You know, are you moving around? What is your stress like? What is your sleeping like? I mean, the quality of life in general, and it's not only about what you're putting into your mouth, but it's also what you're surrounding yourself by and how you're feeling and you know emotionally spiritually um, mentally every day that is going to have an effect on your physical health and therefore it's going to have an effect on your weight you know it's kind of like if you're not at the best health how how do you expect your body to be able to keep up and keep your metabolism going strong and and breaking food down properly and letting go of excess weight. A lot of times we're holding on to excess weight because we're protecting ourselves from something. And whether that something is something outside of ourselves, physically outside of ourselves, or if it's something emotionally that we're protecting ourselves from, or spiritually, or or mentally, those kind of things. So it's, it's a matter of really looking at your life, looking at every aspect of your life and, and evaluating it and seeing, okay, you know, am I really committing myself 100% to my health in every area of my life, in my, my food, in my exercise and fitness, in my relationships, in my job, in my environment, in my family, in my, my everything? you know, in, in my livelihood. Like, you have to look at all areas of your life and, and see, you know, okay, where where's the weak points? What, what can I strengthen? Because, you know, it, it's like if you start actually, like, let's say someone's not getting enough sleep every night and they're so stressed out. It's like, that's going to have an effect on, on their weight, okay, and their well-being, you know, because when you're not sleeping enough, you're tired, you have less energy. And so therefore you gravitate towards eating more food 
and a lot of times when people are not sleeping enough then then they're always on edge so again they go towards food to soothe them so someone who just starts making a commitment okay you know I got the diet down but I got to deal with the sleep and I got to deal with the stress in order for me to maintain a good diet so I can lose the weight and I can feel good so it's a matter of committing yourself it's throwing yourself into being 100% with yourself of taking care of yourself getting yourself healthy and really just strengthening those weak points in your life and being honest with yourself you really have to look and evaluate you know how are you conducting your life how you're interacting with people are you maintaining friendships that are stressing you out are you in a lousy relationship that's making you miserable and making you run to the fridge are you at a job that you feel you're not valued at and not appreciated at these things contribute to whether you're going to gain weight or lose weight so it's it's a matter of reevaluating everything and throwing yourself into it and the next thing is it's being consistent it's it's not about taking breaks from from the weight loss you got to just throw yourself in in it and just do it and you got to do it you know be accountable with yourself remind yourself every night and every morning i'm going to lose the weight i am committed to this i am going to do this 100% constantly remind yourself constantly reaffirm it to yourself and you'll get there i promise you all right so and by the way the next seven day raw food challenge it starts next monday september 20th if you want to lose weight this is like the most perfect thing to do because you're getting off of all the junk food and you're getting the support to be on healthy food that that's what's going to get things rolling that's what's going to get you onto a healthy path let go of the food addictions and just learn how to take care of yourself again take a week to just do something good for you. So go and sign up. Go to my website at www.rawradianthealth.com and click on Raw Food Challenge. Sign up. It starts next Monday. All right, you guys. So have a fabulous day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.